The following is a presentation of TFNN, The Trader's Edge, with your host, Steve Rose. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the January 14th, terrific Tuesday edition of today's opening bell on The Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools, well, just simply the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that's what it's all about. So let's go look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call motivation. You know, motivation is a mystery. Question. Why does one salesperson see his first prospect at 7 a.m. in the morning and another salesperson, well, just starts to roll out of bed at 11 a.m.? Hmm, something to think about. You know, it's truly one of life's mysteries. How about this? You know, a thousand people can attend a lecture. One person walks out and says, I'm going to change my life. And the other one walks away yawning and muttering, saying, I've heard all of this before. You know what I'm talking about. You may have even been there. You may have been walking next to that person. Why is it that they both would not be affected the same way? You know, another mystery I say, how about this? The millionaire says to a thousand people, I read this book and I, it started me on the road to wealth. How many folks do you think will actually go out and get that book? That's right. Very few. Isn't that incredible? Why is it that, why is it, why is it that everyone wouldn't go out and get that same book? A mystery of life, a mystery of life for sure. My suggestion is walk away from the 90% of folks who don't and instead join the 10% who do. Motivation, folks, it boils down to what I consider to be a cycle of four words. You know those four words, four words, potential, action, results, and belief. It all starts there always. Look, if you're struggling, and look, if you're trading, it starts with trading. The very first thing that you have to do when you enter a trade is what? You have to identify the potential. Then you've got to determine what's the action that you would take. Of course, you're going to get a result. Good or bad, you're going to get a result. There's no question about it. If you get a good result, what's going to happen? Yeah, your belief system and whatever it is that you traded is going to go up. Motivation, that's what it's all about. You know, you and I, we've got to know that at any moment, a decision that we make can, in fact, quite frankly, will change the course of our life forever. You know how this goes. The very next person you stand behind in line, sit next to on an airplane, the next phone call you make or receive, the next book you read, that's right, the book you read, the page that you turn, could be the one single thing that causes the floodgates to open. And then all the things that you've been waiting for, for your entire life, they just simply fall into place. It's all about making decisions. A real decision, it's measured by the fact that we've taken a new action. If there's no action, well, then we really, really, really haven't decided to do anything. In essence, if we want to direct our lives, we've got to take control of our consistent actions. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistently. And then, when it comes to action, you know how it goes. You've got to take massive action. Because if you take a little action, guess what kind of results you're going to get? Yeah, basically non-existent results. You've got to take massive action. And we've got to always remember that the way that we do anything is the way that we do everything. Success comes from taking initiative, following up, persistently expressing to yourself the depth of your love for whatever it is that you do. So the question you should always wake up with is what simple action could you take right here, right now, today, to produce a new momentum towards some success that you want in life? It doesn't matter how successful you are. You know you're striving for more. Once you identify that simple action, then remember that the path to success is to take massive, determined action. There is no abiding success without commitment. If you want to be successful? It's pretty simple. Find someone who's achieved the results you're looking for. Copy what they do. In fact, copy what they do and make it better. Make it your own. And guess what? You'll achieve even better results. Well, let's go check out these markets here right now. Futures are up a bit. 
Dow futures up 26 points. They're trading at 16.240. S&P futures up 4 points. They're trading at 18.19. You got NASDAQ futures up 9 points. They're trading out at 35.18. Russell 2000 up about 3 points. King dollar up 6 ticks. It's trading out at 80.68. Goldilocks back a buck 70 right now. Flat market out in silver. It's down 4 cents. Trading out at 20.34. Light sweet crude is up 35 cents. Trading out at 92.15. A quick peek around the globe out here. We'll see over in Europe a little bit of a mixed bag. You've got the FTSE up four points, the DAX off 18 points, so it's uh, shrugged off the uh, the uh, losses that we saw here in uh, in the U.S. yesterday. Not exactly the same uh, kit and caboodle out here when you take a look at Asia. Talk about a caboodle. It was the Nikkei down 489 points off 3% last night. Hang Seng off about 4 tenths of a percent. It closed at 22,791, down 97 points in the Shanghai. Hmm. We're going to take a look at the Shanghai. We want to look at the Shanghai. It was up 18 points, trading out at 2121. But we got a, a caller on the line, so let's go out to uh, Rob in Orlando. Rob, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Morning, Steve. I'm doing good. Um, You're looking at the ANV. Is that because of the, uh, I guess there's a uh, buyout or something, China Goldstone Mining uh, Corp. Uh, is that the reason that you're calling? Yes. Is that a, like a takeover? Like you have no say they'll buy it for that price or... <sighs> Uh, let's see here. The, what I've got on my screen just pulled up. Uh, China Goldstone Mining uh, announces a cash tender offer of the outstanding shares of Airlight Nevada Gold for seven fifty per share in cash. Um, so that's all that I see. Cash tender offer for all the outstanding shares, common stock, related stock, and rights of Allied. Yeah, so, I mean, the board has got to go ahead and accept uh, the uh, deal out here. So you, you do you own Allied Nevada? And yeah. when you when you got into the stock, what was your did what did you have an exit trading strategy? Um, and is it short term, long term? You long know, term. I, long term because I don't you know I don't know anything about uh, Goldstone Mining Development. Uh, any chance that you might know the ticker symbol on Goldstone? No, I don't. Let's all right. So let's see if uh, let's see if I can. Uh, might not be the easiest to do out here. Maybe somebody in the den might be able to uh, help me out here. If somebody knows if there's a uh, ticker symbol, I'm going to try to do a couple things out here. Gold, see if I got anything that pops up on my Goldstone. I don't show anything out here. So at 750, you know, right now, if we take a look at what it's trading at in the pre market, it's not trading anywhere near there. It's only trading at 526. Um, and that was the last trade that came in at about 852 out here, and it was 100 shares that I showed that, that, that traded hands out there. You know, I can tell you that just technically speaking uh, on this uh, chart, Rob, uh, you know, you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD, uh, but, but many of the uh, gold equities uh, do as well. And this thing is going to run into perhaps a bit of a supply line. They'll trade at 526. That is not unusual because you've got this little, this little gap down in supply line, and the question is going to be, you know, what does it, if it trades at 7 bucks, would that make you a happy camper? Definitely. But I was okay. wondering, do they take over the, the stock like it goes away because they buy at that price? or uh, Not necessarily. I mean, it depends on what the uh, deal is here. Um, you know, so I, I, I don't know the particulars. Uh, and just reading just the headline here, I, I mean, that's one possible outcome. Um, it's pretty tough for me to do this totally while I'm on the air out here. Uh Mm. You know, the, the the offer it expires at midnight um January 24th out here. So it's it's really hard to say. It's it's you know, it's it's t there's I don't have enough details on my screen out here to really be able to to you know, to give you that info. What I would do is you know, I'd watch to see how the you, you, sh you know, I'd watch to see how this thing trades today. Um, All right. You know, it, 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 it's 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 at seven fifty. If you were going to be a happy camper, you, you know, sometimes you got to take a look at these things as it's a uh, it's a gift. Um, you know, so it, it, that that that's how that's how I would take a look at it. All righty. I I just don't have enough info. I I wish I had more information on my screen here. You know, but uh, I just I'd take a ta take it as a nice gift. 
I will do that then. Thank you. Okay. Hey, thanks for calling. That was Rob in Orlando. ANV is the uh, ticker symbol uh, out there. So uh, uh, maybe... uh, Maybe you own that, and you've, uh, you're going to wake up with a nice little uh, gift here uh, this morning out here. Closed out at 431, so should be uh, you know trading out at about 7 and a quarter or so. Uh, see, let's see here. I've got some comments in the den. Looks like uh, maybe the stock was halted or what have you. In any event, let's go back and take a look at the rest of the uh, markets out here right now. Let's go see what we have going on. Got Dow Futures up 21 points. Let's take a look at switch over to the futures uh, contracts out here. Give me a moment just to uh, do that. Let's take a look at what took place yesterday. Uh, For those of you that listen to the show regularly, you know that one of the uh, patterns that we were paying attention to was what? It was the uh, Dow Futures contract out here. We've been noticing the uh, consolidation pattern. You know, consolidation patterns are beautiful patterns out there. And they're beautiful patterns. Why? Because when they break, and you don't know which way they're going to uh, break, when they do break, they're usually going to fulfill their measured move. In this case here, I haven't changed anything on my screen. If you're watching us on Tiger TV, all you are just seeing is the uh, continued results of that consolidation pattern. And we identify the consolidation pattern as a 160-point consolidation. That made it very easy to be able to identify to the upside if there was a breakout where price would move to and to the downside. The downside price target was 16000 and 176 in the flurry yesterday as price moved lower down into the four o'clock session that means between 3 30 and four o'clock in the afternoon price actually got down to 16,179 my apologies I was off by three dollars out there on that consolidation break 877-927-6648 who says you can't take it with you TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. 
You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Absolutely is, folks. Uh, welcome back. And, you know, Rob had called earlier about the, uh, he, he's a, a holder of ANV stock out there and a uh, cash tender offer of uh, $7 and, what was it, seven fifty, I believe, from a uh, entity, China Goldstone Mining Development out there. And uh, uh, one thing is uh, certain, uh, Rob, is that uh, that, that, the, that that tender offer is going to be subject to, you know, conditions out there. And I have no idea what those conditions are, nor do you, but certainly one is going to be due diligence. I mean, that is just normal out there. And so due diligence is a uh, broad enough uh, stroke that, uh, you know, someone can back out of the deal. So I would uh, say taking your money is always a, a good thing that's going to make you a happy camper out there so that was on allied nevada so back to the uh, futures markets out here and you know what we were have been taking a look at for a period of time is really a uh, sideways a uh, little bit of a uh, choppy market out there and one of the best things that you can do is to try to identify consolidations as soon as you can in whatever it is that you are uh, trading now you know because of the doing the morning show out here oftentimes we take a look at what's going on in the futures uh, market we take a look at the intraday charts uh Sometimes just simply because they show the patterns, these patterns repeat time and time again out here. And it was the uh, Dow. Now, in the case of the Dow, it had formed a uh, really a .786 uh, Gartley buy pattern. You can see the .618 Gartley buy pattern that was on my screen. That ended up. Uh, Working that pattern actually worked, and uh, price moved all the way down to the bottom of the consolidation. In fact, that was really one of the first signals, the early signals that we were starting to see a consolidation uh, pattern here that had formed. Because that pattern, the way that it worked, quite frankly, if we take a look at it, we come back because the ultimate outcome of any type of a, a Gartley pattern, there's really five of them. Your first outcome is going to be the 0.382 retracement, the dead cat bounce of that pattern. The second is going to be the 0.618 retracement. And by retracement, I'm really referring to the A to D point out there of the A to B equals CD. And all Gartley patterns are is nothing more than an A to B equals CD in an existing uh, trend, in this case here. Uh, if one had believed that the trend was down coming off of the uh, December 31st highs out there, and that would be a uh, that would that that's one pattern that you most certainly could play because of the gap down that took place as we came back into the markets, and so he had an A to B equal CD pattern on the way up. That really formed the uh, Gartley pattern out there. In this case here, the retracement was a point six one eight, and there was a big old bearish engulfing candle that had confirmed this pattern, and that was during the uh, time period of uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So when you have that kind of candle and the way that you come off of a C point, what you really expect is that fifth outcome, which is the A to B equals C D down. Now, that did not take place. And whenever you see price like this coming off of the C point with wide ranging bars on the, uh, you know, really coming off with some conviction and stop where it did, which was the fourth outcome, which is the 100% move of a move. And that's a normal thing. Well, in this case here, stopping right there, that's going to tell you that you're at a strong level of support for whatever reason. And you go back to the left hand 
stand side of the charts. You may be able to identify those reasons. And then what did price do? Price moved all the way back up to a uh, level out here, made the point seven eight six retrace. But that was a, just another indication that we were in a sideways consolidation mode out here. And that sideways consolidation continued to be tested and finally gave way. And it gave way during the uh, time frame here of about 1230 yesterday afternoon. I mean, bavoosh, just moved down with some conviction. And then what it did was really it completed the A to B equals CD down pattern out here. Now, if we take a look at what that, well, I don't know if it actually completed. Let's take a look at one of the patterns that you would. Well, let's let's take a look at it. coming off of the highs from December 31st down to that uh, first low that was put in here at about 2.30 in the morning on January 3rd. And your C point out here is the uh, actual uh, point seven eight six retracement. So, yeah, it made the 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD. Completed that yesterday. Uh, as it was completing as well that 160 point consolidation move. So if you're an owner of the uh, timing the trade or the art of timing the trade, you know Tom's book out there. He'll tell you you do a one to one point six one eight a to b equals cd. Most of the time, what you're going to do is a change in direction. Now in this case here, of course we know that the uh, market on that intraday chart was doing what it was in the extreme over uh, sold condition, meant it had to work its way off. It was in that oversold condition for quite some time, but you didn't see any bulls step in at all, not until the time frame of 4.30 in the afternoon inside of the uh, Dow. A little bit different inside the S&P, but inside the Dow, you didn't see any bull step in until the uh, 4.30 uh, session out there. Then you got a nice little bullish engulfing candle. That set up that support should, in fact, be at the uh, bottom of that session at 4 p.m. That's at that 16.179 out there. You saw a price actually push down into it at about 3.30 this morning. That level held. Now, when we get back from this break, the markets are going to open. Then I'm going to show you something that I uh, shared, I identified, I taught to all of my clients out there. And folks, uh, now it's a good time for you to go over and check out Mastering Pro Probability. All the details on the homepage of TFN.com. Dow Futures up 24. We'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. With over three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. 
you'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, visit TFNN.com today. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. To the races. We got the Dow up 57 points, trading out at 16, 313. SP up 8 points, trading out at 1827. Composite up 21 points, trading out at 4134. Russell 2000 up nearly 6 points, trading at about 1154. Apple's up 4 bucks and change. Microsoft back a nickel. Google up $9. Cisco up 6 pennies. To the upside here, Intuitive Surgical. Holy cow, yesterday I think Brain Salad Surgery, Intuitive Surgical was down. Today it's up $45. Were they out with numbers out here? They must be out with uh, numbers. They expect their Q4 revenue of about $576 million. I don't see the rest of the numbers out here. We'll take a look at that uh, intuitive surgical out there. Uh, Google up uh, nine bucks, Apple up four, uh, Shire PLC up three sixty, Baidu up a couple of bucks, Netflix up a couple, Time Warner Cable up a couple out here to the downside. GameStop, GME, that's off fifteen percent, down seven bucks right now. Stratasys, three D maker out there, off three and a half percent, down four fifty. X one, X O N E, off six percent this morning, down four bucks. Amerigas Partners off five and a half percent, down two forty seven. Family dollar stores off a buck fifty four. So now let's go back here. We're gonna take a look at the ES Mini. I'll share with you something that I pointed out to my clients and very helpful if you are certainly trading. Well, it depends on what it is that you're trading, but certainly if you're trading the uh, ES Mini out here, very interesting pattern that is set up. We're gonna see if it actually takes a fold here today, and that is this. Ever since we began the new year in 2014, I mean from day one, what we have seen in the ES Mini is we have seen selling come in within an hour of the New York Stock Exchange open. That means between 8.30 and 10.30 in the morning, oftentimes right there at 9.30, we have seen the actual high, the intercession high for the uh, day out here. And I mean it has worked on January 2nd, January 3rd, January 6th, because we had a weekend, January 7th, January 8th, January 9th, January 10th. Guess what it did yesterday, folks? It worked on January 13th as well. In fact, if you take a look at it, uh, we had the actual high came in at 1040 yesterday morning during the uh, 1030 uh, bar out here. The, the actual interest session high came in at exactly 1040, and then we saw the selling come in. If we take a look at what took place the uh, day before, we saw a uh, interest session high. This was on uh, the 10th. This was on Jobs Friday. So that high took place at about 830 in the morning. Again, I'm saying within the hour, within an hour, sometimes really right on it, what we are seeing is selling come in. So now what we've got going on in the marketplace, so we're really going to see if this selling, I can't tell you why it is, why it works like that in unison, but I can tell you it's a pattern that is out here, and it's one that we should most certainly be aware of. Now, yeah, nice big old hammer candle that formed 
And that makes that very important for us to be paying attention. That's the hammer candle that formed at 4 o'clock yesterday. At 4 p.m. yesterday, as the uh, market was uh, going into the uh, close, the bulls actually showed up, had a little hammer candle, bullish and golfing candle to follow out there that says uh, support now, very key support at 1809.50. That was the uh, low at that 4 o'clock session. We got a little A to B equal CD pattern to the upside that has unfolded here. You've seen right now we've got the uh, 1 to 1.272 A to B equal CD. That was at 18.21.68 out there. We're going to see whether the selling is going to uh, take place. And if that selling does commence sometime between now, and because we certainly know it wasn't at 8.30, so certainly between now, the market open, and sometime right around 10.30, if we see that selling come in, it'll be the exact same consistent pattern that we have seen since the beginning of the new year. And as far as where is price going to go, that's pretty easy. It'll go test that hammer candle. It'll go test that low, that 18.09.50 level, and if it uh, breaks, if you're long, you're wrong. And that's how a hammer candle is used. Now, what does that mean exactly it means you got to go to the next area of support inside of the es mini and boy next area of support inside the es mini probably takes you back down into the 1805 level that's your one to 1.272 a to b equals cd down maybe 1802 50 a set of uh, swing points that are out there it's actually the high as well right about four o'clock in the afternoon on uncle ben bernanke day right around the 1805 ish uh, type level that's on the es mini so if that hammer breaks i would expect that that would be the level that would be tested so that's what's going on inside of the ES Mini. We're going to pay attention to that uh, pattern out here. We'll see if it's another round and another day of selling that kicks in sometime between now and about 10.30 in the uh, morning out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, metals markets out here. Let's go see what we've got going on inside of uh, those uh, charts as well. Give me a moment here. We'll pull that up on the uh, screen. You've got uh, gold, gold trading out right now at uh, down a buck fifty. So no big deal out there. Trading out at twelve forty nine. We've got a confirmed A to B equal C D to the upside. A to B equals CD takes you to 1279. That's your one to one A to B equals CD. I suspect it's more like 1297 where we will see price move to. If we take a look at retracements as well, coming from the most recent swing point high of October 28th down to low that uh, has been established here at December 31st. What you will also see in that 1298 ish level, 1292 is your 0.618 retracement. That would set up a potential Gertley sell pattern out there. And that would be inside of uh, Goldilocks. That's what we have going on there. If we take a look at uh, silver, uh, silver. Now, the, here, if I go back to uh, gold, and, and which I will, and uh, the, the all here's the problem with that point six one eight Gertley sell pattern. What I, that I see is a potential problem out here is that uh, twelve ninety seven. It'll have broken the descending price channel by a fairly substantial amount. A fair, depending on how soon that it would get up there. And, the man, trading desks around the world, they're going to take notice of that big time. So I don't even know that, quite frankly, 1297, even though that's a likely target out here, I'd have to say 1320 would be the more likely target out there. Man, at 1320, it really breaks that descending price channel out there, something that has not been done, that descending price channel, really establishing itself, I'll say, back in the uh, early part of uh, middle, late, late fall, fall of 2000. 2012 is when that began to truly establish itself. That's on uh, Goldilocks out there. If we take a look at uh, silver out here, silver running into just a bit of uh, resistance, and it's just really trying to take on the B point of the A to B equals CD up, and that is the level of January 2nd, that high, $20.44 out there. That had about, uh, what, uh, 44,000 contracts came into it yesterday with 52,000. You know what happens when you come into a swing point with volume? Even if it gets rejected, it says you're going to be back up there. We're already back up there. We've tested that here today. We'll see what kind of volume uh, follows through on the, today's trading action. If we take a look at light sweet crude, uh, it is, uh, as it passed that, let's see. So the B point of the A to B will see you down November 27, 160,000 contracts. And yesterday you had two. 255,000 contracts. Now you've got the confirmed A to B equals CD down out here, so I would take a look at today's bounce right now as being nothing more than a bounce. You do have a confirmed A to B equals CD down. That says $84.71 or so is the uh, range out here. If we take a look at uh, bonds, 
Uh, Barry Bonds out here. Uh, you had Bonds break that uh, descending uh, trend line. That's a trend line that takes you all the way back into May of 2013. That's got to have some folks uh, taking a look. Now, what we also as a continuous contract, I don't know if there truly was. There wasn't this gap down out here, so I won't be paying attention to uh, that. Uh, but 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 what we do have here in bonds is that it has broken that uh, descending uh, trend line out there, and that's uh, that's pretty important. That says uh, most likely 132.21 would be its next stop. Boy, natural gas, what a reversal uh, yesterday out here. I mean, a huge reversal, big wide ranging bar as far as type zero through ten or one through ten. Uh, that would uh, qualify as about a 9.75 in strength out here. We'll see what happens as it takes on this. Uh, this is the uh, February contract that we've got up on my screen right now. About 91,000 contracts is the swing point it's trading into. Yesterday closed inside there with 152,000 contracts. We'll see what happens when it tests that swing point high on January 7th, about the $4.43 range out here. Now, I want to switch over and take a look at what's going on around the world, specifically, specifically here the uh, Shanghai. Now, the Shanghai did here yesterday. It made a .618 retracement. Now, that .618 retracement out here is coming off of a huge hammer candle. I do mean huge hammer candle. And that was not what, it, and and that hammer candle. Well, so we're going to take a look at it from a couple of different patterns out here. And the reason why we're taking a look at it is because yesterday it actually formed a, a bullish engulfing candle. You know, in markets where they've been trading lower, it is just something to pay attention to. It's only one candle, it's only one day, and it's not a trade here just yet. But if you come off of the hammer candle from June 25th out there, 1935.59, makes a run up to the high on uh, September 12th, gets up to 23.76. If we take our retracement rule, we're going to do that here right now. And to take our retracement ruler, we're going to go from the low of that hammer candle all the way up to the high that was put in. Uh, you will see that the point six one eight retracement twenty one oh four got down to a low uh, just below that at about two thousand and ninety three. And yesterday it made the uh, made a bullish engulfing candle that engulfed the prior two sessions out there. Pretty strong. We haven't seen that kind of uh, candle formation on this C to D leg out here. So it has now completed a point six one eight Gartley buy. And, and and why is that important out here? Well, first, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you wait for a second confirmation. If there's any one thing, especially on a pattern like this here, where it's been truly, you know, if you start pulling this back, you can see all kinds of lower highs out here. And in this case here, the question is, has this change in trend begun? Is this the Gartley that you buy? Or is this going to fail and is this going to move down to the 2029 level? Now, my preference on this was the 2029 level. But just because that's my preference, that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen out here. Now, why was it a preference of mine to wait for 2029? I'm talking the price, not the year out here. It's because of the hammer candle. I really wanted to see the hammer candle tested, at least the top of that hammer candle out there, which was 2054.94 out there. And so we're not down there, but I don't know with yesterday's signal. We'll, we'll know more tomorrow. We'll know more tomorrow. We'll pay attention to this uh, tomorrow because if we see some additional follow through to the upside, that may be a tradable pattern, and that would be inside of the Shanghai. Now, what I don't have here, unfortunately, is I don't have volume i don't know if the volume is that i've got is 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 good enough or not i i just i just don't know if it's reliable i should say good enough is not the uh, is certainly not the proper terminology i don't know if the volumes that i have here are reliable and the other th the other reason is that because if the volumes are reliable, there was what a hundred million shares on the trading session of June 26, and so you'd like to actually see that tested on some uh, lighter volume. Uh, you know, potentially this was pulling back with about 66 million shares. So this is the uh, Shanghai. I don't know what the uh, symbol might be in your trading system. It's going to be different on the e-signal data feed that I get out here. So we will be paying attention to this pattern out here uh, because I do believe it's going to offer a uh, a trade a potential trade and we'll know tomorrow whether or not this is the uh, type of uh, trade that we want to pay attention to you know I was looking and, and here's the other thing so i've got a number of different tools that i have on this uh, trading system it's the ensign software and i build i build trading tools just simply to help us gauge what's going on. I write one of the trading tools I've got is the uh, uh, is the uh, primary trading range boundary lines that's what i'm putting on this right now and uh, 
So it's automatically going out and it's identifying the co-located opens and closes of every candle session out here. And then what it's going to uh, do, it's going to uh, place the lines on the uh, screen out here. tells us the dark line that you see on the screen here at 2344. That's your primary trading range boundary. That's, uh, that, that area, that area of the chart has the largest number of co-located opens and closes out there inside of the uh, marketplace. But that's one tool. There's another tool. You're familiar with it. It's called the uh, Chapman Wave out here, and this is I've, which I've created, is the uh, peak and trough counter out here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that, because the other thing what's interesting about this, as we apply this, and I'm just going to hit my little count down, it's going to go count each of the troughs on the way down, and what it actually formed here on January 13th was that D, that little D out there. I just have to, uh, I use numbering system out here. So we've got, uh, you've got a .618 Gartley buy, you've got Basil Chapman's trough D out there, and you've got a nice big bullish engulfing candle that engulfed the prior two sessions. So you can bet we're going to go back and take a look at that uh, tomorrow. And that is on the uh, Shanghai uh, Index out here. So let's go back and uh, take a look at some of these stocks here that are popping and uh, dropping right now. The Dow is up. Uh, it's up 23 points. The S&P is up three, so we're seeing a little bit of that uh, sell-off. We're going to see if that pattern continues out here, which is the selling that takes place within the first hour of trading, and it continues throughout the uh, day out there. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, what here. What do we have? Intuitive Surgical. I mentioned Intuitive Surgical. Let's go see what that is. Uh, now, you know, they make some great equipment out here, you know, for those folks that are, you know, you've got robotic surgery out there, you know, so uh, they, they, it's about as invasive as you possibly can get. Of course, I'm not a, a medical doctor. I'm not a surgeon. Well, I am a doctor. I'm a doctor of love. No, I'm a doctor of these stock charts out here, uh, but uh, not the type that, that performs uh, surgery out there. You know, in that game, uh, what was that the game we got as a uh, kid? You know, where you, you had to go, uh, uh, you know, pick out those little bones out there, and, the, uh, you know, you'd get electrocuted or so if you did. No, just, you know, the, the red Button would go operation. There you go. Thank you, Alberto. And so, uh, so I learned at a very early age. I don't know about you because I didn't seem to be able to have the talent to pick up those bones without hitting the uh, without hitting the uh, sides there and making that thing go off. So I knew that uh, being a surgical doctor was probably not the uh, right. It's just like uh, being an artist. If uh, you want to see some of my artwork, uh, I think that in art class they said I couldn't make a very good stick. Man, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We'll be right back, folks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investor Investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is uh, 15 points right now. S&P is up uh, 3. And so we were talking about intuitive uh, surgical out here. ISRG is the ticker symbol. Uh, trading up about 34 bucks right now. Gapping uh, up here uh, this morning. Of course, it's gapping up into a big downdraft. I don't uh, know if this was lawsuit-oriented or what have you. Um, don't recall what the deal was. Doesn't really matter, really, what it was. Let me uh, get rid of a couple of things on this chart out here. Get rid of a uh, couple of moving average lines as well. And if we take a look at it, you can see this thing. Let me see if this is where the institutional selling really began. Because, you know, as you pull this stock chart back, if you go back to 2009, March 2009, ran from the $89 mark up to uh, highs of about uh, $550 uh, out here, $600 or so, back in uh, 2012. So a nice real run up there. And then the first real sign of institutional selling, I would say, came in this equity the very first sign came in back in july of 2012 you saw about 1.5 million shares to the downside on a, a gap down and then the uh it, it it brushed that off in fact uh, brushed it off and we saw um well it brushed it off and it got back to the area where it had let's just pull this back here if we take a look at it on our screen so it's a pretty good pretty good analysis of a stock that broke down and went all the way back to the area where it broke down so on the trading session here of July 19th we'll draw a black line across my screen out here and I'll just stop it right there versus go all the way across and you can see this is where my artistry comes in during the uh, during the break there, just uh, chatting inside the den about the true story, the true art story about the art teacher that pulled my mother off to the side and said, there might be something wrong with your child out there because we're asking these kids here, and who knows what, what grade I was in, to actually draw, you know, their brothers and sisters and parents, and I drew stick men. Apparently, I was one of the few or only in the class that was drawing stick men. And she, I didn't know, realize this till later, she was making fun of my stick people out there. 
In any event, uh, what does she know? Uh, and so here's a stock that broke down the first time you saw institutional selling. Back here on July 20th, the uh, stock makes its way all the way back up to where it broke down, which was because uh, you, you like to buy breakouts or sell breakdowns. In this case here, this was the uh, 553.58 session from July 19th. And uh, the breakdown volume you're going against with benchmark is 1.5 million shares. Makes it all the way back up there with uh, 428,000 shares on December 18th. Now, it did have a, a sign of uh, strength out here, uh, and that sign of strength, when it got back above that area and back up towards its highs, that took place on January uh, 23rd out here. Uh, but then since then, what we have seen is really bouts of institutional selling continue to come back in. March uh, 15th, 2013, two and a half million shares. And the big one here, the big one that let loose, that was on July 9th. And the question inside the Aden was, will it ever get back and fill that uh, gap out there? You know, today would probably be a, I don't know the answer to that. I know that the momentum on this stock here has has changed a bit but man when this thing lets loose on selling it is just lots of institutional selling that moves in because we can even take a look at the trading session on october 18th and so it's trying to turn the uh, corner but you know i would have to say based on all of the all of the trends that we take a look at in this stock here even if it does fill the gap it really provides you with a selling opportunity which gets you back to that july 8th area and that's right around the price level of 498 to 505 or so and that was on intuitive surgical so folks uh if you're off to start your uh, tuesday have a terrific tuesday i look forward to seeing you either in the next hour or tomorrow morning bright and early thanks so much for joining us have a great tuesday take care folks It's better when we're together Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability. Available on the homepage of TFNN.com.